Hello guys, it's TMK Creates. I'm gonna show you how to add OG graphics to your UEFM map. Before I start this video, all credit goes to Gato Bugado BR. That's how you say it. Her original video is in Portuguese, so this video should make it easier to understand for everyone, as well as more updated. Let's get into it. So first, you wanna download the files in the description. Once you've done that, come to your content browser in UEFM. If you haven't got this, go to Window, Content Browser, and Content Browser 1. Basically, you just wanna find any of these files, right click on them, show in Explorer. Now you wanna make sure you're in this content folder you then want to extract this .zip file. You can do that by right clicking, extract all, yeah. Now that that's done, you want to open this and drag the chapter one TODM folder right into your maps content folder. So next you're going to want to open the chapter one time of day manager text. And what you need to do now is select it all. So you can do that by either dragging it across and selecting the whole thing or just by pressing Control A. Of course, then we need to copy it. Now that we're back in UAFN, let's press Control V to paste it. And you can already see quite a difference, but it doesn't look anywhere near right. So we're going to fix that. Let's open the chapter one folder. Right, okay. So if you get no files in it and it's showing no files, all you need to do is quickly restart the editor. So let's do that. Okay, so now that we're back in the editor, we're going to open up chapter one, meshes, and we're going to drag the sky dome mesh in. What we need to do now is set the location to zero on all of the values and also make sure this padlock is checked next to scale. This means if we change one value, it'll change all of the other values. So I'm going to set it to something like 200. That way we can still see the background mountains. Obviously, of course, it's up to you. Next, we're going to come back into the chapter one folder. Let's search for Sky Dome and this material here, M underscore Sky Dome. We're going to open that and apparently this causes an error. So what we need to do is hold Alt and click that to make it disappear. And we're going to make a new connection and drag it right back into the emissive color. Then press apply and save. Next, let's select the object called skylight. Make sure your source type here is set to SLS specified. What? Whatever the f cube map. In the cube map option, search for Athena if you can spell it right, and let's select the Athena skylight. As you can see, that made a big difference. The map is actually lit up now, and the shadows aren't pitch black. Okay, now we have the old skybox working, but there's still more to do. So open the chapter one folder again, open the master TODM. This is a sequence, which is basically an animation, and all these will appear red. That means the object it's trying to animate is missing. So we're gonna replace that object, the one that's in our level. So let's right click, assign actor, and just search for the exact same thing. So that one's called directional light. We're going to assign actor, search directional light, and select that. Now close that down and repeat. Because we've done all that, we can now scroll through and see the time of day change. Ignore this annoying lens flare, by the way, we're going to fix that later. So in the sequence, you want to go to the point where you want the skybox to start off as when you start the game. And for me, that's going to be around right here. So let's see, 17500. So I'm going to scroll into that part on the sequence and now that I'm there, I'm going to right click and set start time. Now the sequence will only play this part. And now for the final thing, I'm going to go to devices, search for sequence and drag in the cinematic sequence device. Let's press this, go to sequence, set it to the one from before. If you want it to loop, select this, but I don't because I'm starting it later into the sequence with it looped. It would change time of day in a frame and I don't want that. I'm going to set it to auto play. You can also change the play rate to make it speed up or slow down. I'm also going to set enabled on face to always. Don't know if that will change it so it works in the editor. We'll see. Also, before we start, if you have an error like this, just click on it and press rebuild. Save everything. Launch session. Jesus. Oh no, let's press run fix up. If you get a few errors, just press run fix up if that option's there, do it again. If it happens more than that, restart the editor, launch the session again. So we're in, and it's working perfectly. Well that lens flare is- Right, I'm sick of this, we're removing it. Open the editor, search for post processing, select post process volume, and also, while you're doing that, open the chapter one folder and open the master TODM. Now in this post process volume, we're gonna search for lens flare and you can see the intensity right here is keyframe so what we need to do is remove then keyframes and set our own value which i'm just going to set to zero because it's annoying me. but in the sequencer expand the post process and there's a few intensity settings here we're basically just going to find out what which one is so this one's set to one just like lens flare so if i move this up this one does too so we're going to go like this edit and delete now like before the keyframe logo is in there so we can set it to zero and that lens flare is no longer there and to just make it that teeny bit more accurate we're going to open color grading global temperature make sure it's set to white balance and we're going to tick these two we're going to change the temperature to 7764 and we're going to set the tint to 0, 0.0 let's launch the game we're in the game everything seems to be working properly the sun is moving still 
and that just means it's all working properly. So yeah, I've been looking for how to do this for years. So if this helped you out and you got this in your mind, like the video or subscribe, all that stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching.